Many ideas floating around online about how fragrance oil works in candle making are complete nonsense. They're usually based on someone's limited experience, a viral post, or a horror story, but the science is clear. Candles burn safer and perform more consistently when fragrance oil is added at the right temperature. And in this video, I want to talk about the science behind fragrance oil and highlight a few key ideas about candle performance. Well, let's go. Kevin, welcome back to Armitage Candle Company, the premier online resource for accelerating your candle making technique and business. Before we get into these ideas, I just want to call out the temperature you should be adding fragrance oil to all of your candles, regardless of which wax you're using. Add fragrance oil to your candles between 185 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit for a safer, more consistent throw. You don't have to worry about fragrance oil degrading because of the heat because that only happens once that oil reaches its boiling point, which is far and above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. You might ask yourself, well, what about the flash point? And we're going to talk about that a little bit later, but the flash point doesn't matter for candle making processes at all, period. So let's get into these ideas. The first idea is that flash point doesn't matter. On almost every single fragrance oil you buy from a reputable candle supplier, the flash point will be listed. And honestly, it's a little freaky because that temperature is a little bit lower than 185 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the recommendation for when you should add that fragrance oil. So you're wondering, well, does that mean this thing's gonna freaking blow up in my face if I use it? No, flash point is an indication of a phenomenon that's relevant for shipping, meaning, if you're a supplier or you're shipping fragrance oil, pure fragrance oil around the world or internationally through many services, it is against the law to fly it if the flash point is above a certain amount. The USPS classifies any liquid with a flash point above 140 degrees Fahrenheit as a flammable liquid, which means it cannot be transported via air. That's the end of the story. You don't have to worry about the flash point at all because it's only there due to the regulations around moving it around the country. Once you integrated that oil into a candle, these rules no longer apply. So if you really want to ship your candles by air, that's your prerogative. Idea number two is that lids don't protect cold or hot throw. Now, this is a little bit less related to when you add that fragrance oil to your candle, but it's kind of worth calling out because we don't really talk about this enough. But the question is, should I be putting my lid on my candle to protect the scent? And the answer is no. The, the scent isn't used up out of the top of that candle. A little bit maybe through evaporation, but the rest of that fragrance oil is trapped inside the solid body of the wax and it won't be released until the candle is burned. So if you're worried about lids and scent throw, like don't worry about that, it's not really a problem. But lids are good if you wanna stop dust from getting on top of your candle, which I have candles all over the place with dust on top and I could use some lids, so please send me some lids. The last idea is fragrance oil temperature mostly impacts safety. Now as candle makers, we're always trying to get the most out of our candles hot throw. And we do this by adjusting thousands of factors, wick size, vessel choice, wax blend, amount of fragrance oil, pour temp, you name it. But the one thing we shouldn't be adjusting is the temperature we add our fragrance oil. Now, here's why. At 185 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when we believe our wax structure opens up the most and break down all the additives and stuff that's in the wax itself. So that when we add fragrance oil to it and it starts to cool back down and shrink in size, it's as blended and safely moved around as possible. Fragrance oil, if not properly blended, will create pockets inside that wax. So not heating that all the way up will potentially create risks that when that wick or that candle finally burns down and it finds a pocket of just pure fragrance oil because it wasn't blended and moved around, boom, that could ignite and that is truly a fire hazard. So fragrance oil is non-negotiable. It needs to be added or at least brought up to 185 degrees Fahrenheit with the wax. So you could add it lower technically, but make sure you raise that entire blend up. It's a safety issue. It's not a performance thing. And adding that at a different temperature is not going to give you a better hot throw. That's all I have for you. I hope some of that was helpful, useful, or insightful. Check out Moonlight in the link below. Read more in the, the blog post that we have online. Otherwise, I hope you have a great week. I'll see you in the next episode.